What's up everyone? Casual Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is kind of a DIY how-to uh, video. Actually, I was watching one of my buddy's videos where I got this idea and uh, he was having some issues with uh, removing some carbon buildup on some valves, you know, until he busted out his sandblaster soda blaster worked out terry i mean he has a very nice big sand blaster that uh he was working with you know worked out perfect for him but how many of us actually have that kind of equipment you know i know maybe a couple of you guys do uh but i don't right now i used to have a soda blaster way back in the day uh when i used to build low riders and uh, I would use it to clean frames, do rust repair, you know, clean out all the rust before we patch in a new panel, all that stuff. But right now, if I needed something, I don't have it. So I used to use, and to think about it, I used to use my soda blaster for everything. Uh, instead of uh, going to go get plugs, like if I was testing the car, you know, because when we would get low-rider cars, you know, sometimes they'd be sitting for for years before we turn them into that, you know, turn them into a low rider, you know? So you have like a old Impala that been sitting for years and we're trying to fire it up, see if it runs. So we're there, you know, and I would, we would bring the car on a trailer or whatever. And when you try to get it running, you know, clean out the, the spark plugs with the soda blaster, uh, put them in before, you know, diagnose everything, make sure that, that is the parts you need before you go spend money on parts so yeah i mean it, it came in very handy for all kinds of stuff man i regret selling it but it is what it is uh so i got this nice little diy thing to show you guys how to do one it, it's small little soda blaster it'll help out for valve jobs it'll help out for removing rust for removing uh carbon buildup on stuff so, yeah, just stick with me. Let's go check out all the stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys how to build it. And the best part of it, it's only like $5. Five bucks, guys. That's including the baking soda. So, let's go. I'll show you how to build it. And hopefully, this will be a short video. All right, guys. So, we are in my kitchen right now. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys this in my kitchen because it is too hot to be working in my garage right now. So, these little spray guns, um, air guns actually, you can get one of these at Harbor Freight. I actually got a book the other day. This is an old one that I had, but I actually got a book the other day and it had a coupon in the Harbor Freight book for $1.99. And originally these are like three bucks or something like that, but $1.99, but I already had it, so I didn't have to go get one. Uh, this is just a small little pipe bender that I'm gonna show you, because we need to bend this little kink out right here. You could also use a, a two by four, put on a two by four and hit it with a, with a soft hammer, slow, to straighten it out. We just wanna straighten that out as best we can, okay? Next thing we got is a soft drink bottle. This was a DP bottle. So 20 ounces, I believe. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna use right here. And one of the final things is my Dremel. And I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I got a carbine bit on here right there. And that's just to make a hole in this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. One more thing that I do not have on here, and that's a heat gun. And all I'm gonna use a heat gun is to shrink this down to make it more, um, the plastic a little bit more harder. Watch, you'll see when I do it. But let me get everything together, uh, bring the heat gun out, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I got my heat gun here, and I have my DP bottle softening bottle so what I want to do is 
I'm going to heat up around the bottle, being careful not to stay in one spot. Let me go ahead and do that. It might be a little loud, but try not to stay in one spot so we can shrink the bottle at least halfway. So let's get to that real quick. I can start feeling the heat come on and the bottle starting to shrink. Remember, don't get too close or you will melt through the bottle. Sometimes it just takes a little longer, so. I'm just rushing through it, so hopefully I don't burn through this bottle. Go about halfway. And I think that should be good. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the bottle has shrunken some big time up here, you know. And the plastic is way harder. And that's what we need. You know, we need this plastic to kind of be more tough. So, and it makes like a, like a nice little funnel anyway. You know, how the bottle goes from here down, kind of like a funnel. So, okay guys, let me put this heat gun away because it's hot. And I don't want to put it on my counter. I'll come right back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is if you guys can see this how it has a bend on it I want to make that as straight as possible and right here I have a brake line bender you do not need this you can use a piece of wood and a hammer or something but since I have this I'm just gonna go ahead and use it guys and try to make things a little easier for me so, I'm gonna try to do this on camera, but if not, I'm gonna have to move it so I can get some leverage. And there we go. As you guys can see, it's not perfect, but it's straight. And that's all we need. You could have kept it curved if you wanted. But I could work better when I'm sandblasting like that. Instead of at a curb, I don't have to hold it like this. Uh, but yeah, let's go on to the next thing. So, right here on the bottom of the bottle, we're going to put a hole through... And so we can slide this all the way to the end, like that. We're gonna put it right in the center, right here, and we're gonna slide it all the way to the end. So let me go ahead and hook up the Dremel, and we'll get that done, and uh, I'll come right back. So this is what it should look like, okay? Actually, I didn't even Dremel it. I heated up the tip of this, and push it through so that's kind of what it looks like guys you guys can see the whole thing right here 
Okay, now what we want to do is after we kind of know where this is going to sit, right around here with our Dremel, we're going to make a cut. We're not going all the way through, we're just going to get through to see the inside. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to do that off camera and I'll come right back and it's going to be simple and just going to just drill down and make a, a, a notch right here and then you guys will see that after I'm done as you can see this notch that I created and all that is is for the baking soda or sand to flow down here so when we put this in our bottle right there the baking soda or sand is going to come down and it's going to shoot out on this side and basically that is the sandblaster so just real quick I did this with the Dremel and uh, in a little carbine burr that I had or bit I hope you guys can see that right there and the baking soda would just shoot down the bottle just has a hole that I made it sits back right there and uh, that's it guys so let me get some baking soda and uh, we'll test this out so here we go guys um, this is the way it looks when you assemble it and I try to put a rubber band on here to kind of keep it straight so it doesn't fall you know what I mean or turn around it probably still will so I don't know like I said this ain't no professional gun or anything like that it's a problem solver <laughs> so yeah it'll solve little problems when you got it so instead of using like a wire wheel or whatever so this is the baking soda I have this big old gigantic bag and I'll get some out and the way you fill it is I'll just take this all apart again take this off and put some baking soda on. so I'm gonna do that now and I'll come right back to you guys I got the baking soda in there I got a rubber band trying to keep it from stabilizing uh, so yeah we're gonna try it and see how it does I got this rusty bracket right here that I want to try to clean up um, I kind of try to hit it right there a little bit to test it out before I went and did it so let's see what it does guys and then we'll go from there this is not like a professional thing it's just to help you out get out of a pinch when you need to blast something and hopefully my air compressor is strong enough to get it done so it was looking pretty good when I tested it so let's go for it if I could see and the camera at the same time. There it is, as you can see, I'm kind of having some leak issues from around the cap. Maybe if you put some Teflon tape or something, it'll work even better because it looks like it's coming from the cap or from the front. Let's see, right here in the front or around the cap. I'm losing a little bit of baking soda. But guys, look at that. Like I said, it works. I mean, it's starting to clean it up. And I bet you that sand would probably work better because this baking soda is very thin. Uh, sand would probably work 
way better. But that's it, guys. You know, that's the basic idea. As you can see better right there, it's starting to clean it up. But that is the basic idea to making a sand blaster or a soda blaster. Uh, sand will probably be way more coarse on this. And baking soda you want to use like on aluminum stuff, uh, valves, what else? Maybe like if you attempt to do like the outside of a head or engine block or something like that, you're going to go ahead and use baking soda. But make the hole probably up here on the tube. I would make it smaller than what I did if you're going to use baking soda because I just learned that right now with that big hole that I did, it kind of dumps the baking soda pretty fast, you know, as you saw. And probably putting some Teflon tape around the cap. And that way it doesn't uh, shoot out or if it's coming out of the front right there. But sand will probably work better. Uh, that would probably be another video, guys. Uh, this is it. The homemade soda blaster. Sand blaster, guys. And as you can see, it does work. It works, guys. I mean, it'll save you some time. And if there's hard to reach areas you can't get, you can do it with this. But yeah, guys, I don't want to, I don't want to turn on this old POS of an air compressor, and then you guys wouldn't even hear me talk. I can guarantee that because this thing is is old school and loud. But thank you guys for watching the video. You know, stay tuned, and uh, we'll finish this off inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, this can get some of you guys out of a situation at some times or make the job go faster. But that's the way you turn an air gun into a soda or sandblaster. Very simple, not that hard, and not that expensive. So let's say it's on a, on a weekend sometime. I mean... You, you're working on some, you just fly down the Harbor Freight. Uh, I've even seen those air guns at Walmart. Some Walmarts are 24 hours, so you can do this late at night. It, it's And Walmart even sells boxes of baking soda there. Uh, you could also get play sand or whatever, but it's very simple, guys. I hope this helps you guys out. And it, they work awesome. I mean, not as good as the big fancy ones, but... It'll get you out of a pinch and let you finish up with what you're doing, guys. So, yeah, I'm Casual Paul. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button, the notification button, so you guys can get all my future videos on everything that I got going on on my channel. But like, subscribe, and share, please, because without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys on the next video.